Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. This video will be whatever project I'm working on. And I don't do a separate, sometimes I do a separate opening form, sometimes I don't. Again, it's just a summer opening and uh, I just wanted to throw one out there. And we'll blend it in. It's probably when I get a chance to sit down and do some videos. Um, a lot of upcoming things that you're going to be seeing on these videos of uh, summer projects or whatnot. Well, once I kind of get back into shop for summer right now that has been occupied a lot. So I hope you uh, enjoy the channel, enjoy the videos, and subscribe and follow. So just jump right on in there. Alright, gentlemen, we've got a little project here that we're working on. I'll bring you down here to it. Well, what we got is the uh, term of, you know, what we have is flagpole mount. And with the flagpole mount, it goes on a yard flag. So, we have to figure out the problem with this yard flag, uh, this mount, is fairly simple. It will work. Alright. What I'm doing, instead of doing transfer punches, is I'm putting one screw in it to hold it. Then I'm going to figure out the drill. What I'm going to do with this is drill a hole. I'm going to make actually a spacer and put a taper in it. And the reason behind that is uh, pretty simple. So I'll bring you back when I get the drill figured out. Now we're going to do this fairly simple, but it's still a, something that needs to be done. The problem with the flag is it doesn't lay right. And I'm just going to get these holes started so I know where to work from. I'm going to drill them deeper, obviously. So let me get the screw out. Now this is a sheet metal screw I just put down in it to, to hold it. Instead of trying to do a transfer screw or some nonsense like that. We're going to suck down in there. Anyway. This is Durling. Uh, this is a block of Durling out of my scrap pile. What we're going to do is we're going to put something like a 20 degree or some sort of kind of taper on it. And I'm going to just kind of lay it out by eye. minute. Okay, I got holes in it all the way through. Bring you back in the side. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. We're going to move the saw around and bolt it down to get it good and solid for this. It's a good time to show you how my system works. I've been sawing some aluminum today, some scrap up, and this set the saw set. I want this to be in place. So you kind of brush this off little bit. Let me clean the table off here in a minute. This is how this works. It just let me slide you over here and show you what I'm doing. And maybe get you down a little bit there. So you slide it over here in the table and you just sort of line up the holes. This is why I put the screws right here in the sides. And Don't take much. All this is for to keep this saw from sliding as I'm pushing on it. So, okay. Now, all I'm going to do is saw along my line at, a, at the angle I've already drawn off. See if you can see me, Ruth. Okay, yeah, you can see, see me. Yeah, you can see. That's good. That's right. Okay. 
é um jeito disso aí. Now, we got a, a, a angle. So what we will do is we set this on the angle. We may end up having to do a little bit of work on this angle. I already see it's got like a little bit of a ramp here. Let me see. Maybe a little bit of a Now I got to get some woo, longer screws and run the screws to it. Alright, I noticed the other day one of my subscribers was really sharp eyed and noticed that I was fiddling with this handle now on the lathe. And what had happened, you know, I moved it. I think any of you that, folks that watch my videos on a regular basis, I'm going to brush the top of this off. It's just a little gummy. And um, watch my videos on a regular basis. No, I moved this handle because the position was off and I couldn't realign it no other way. Um, so the other day while I was working I was on the video, I noticed this handle was loose. I was trying to tighten it. It wouldn't tighten. And I got to look and for some reason threads just don't look right in it. You know, I ended up re-drilling this. This is an aggravating job. Turn this down and re-drilled everything to half so I could use taps a half. And uh, in doing that, this got loose. And so I grabbed a little green Loctite. So that's just an update to go with this other video. All right, there's the finished flag mounted, remounted. I'll bring you around and show you what we've done here. Um, I didn't want to try, I could have put it in the mill and milled that angle, but if you'll notice the way we got our brackets uh, done, I'll kind of get up here, and I'm handheld and walking, so you kind of got excused if I've movements and all, and the sun may wash some of this out, or it might just be my glasses, but if you'll notice how we've got this hung right up under here, there's not a, our posters are hollow. They're metal posters and hollows. You can't hang it to the post. Set them at a 45 that way. 
So what I done was made that little angle you see me saw right there. And that's got the flag flatter. I could have put more angle to it. Maybe I should have. But I'm going to try that and see if it works. And I got plenty of plastic. I can cut another piece and double the angle if I wanted to. So uh, we'll see how that works for us. I'm a little hesitant to put this clip up. You know what? What the hell? You know, uh, this mess has been behind our house ever since I moved here for several years. And the county put a notice on this place, and the dude did come out here, cut the grass, picked up, had somebody pick up the metal and stuff out of it. And I don't know any more is being done or not. I was talking to my neighbor this morning who's complained very vigorously also and he told me he says he talked to the guy and the guy seems to think all he has to do is cut the grass and I really don't know what the county's told him here in Gaston County and what's really frustrated me is I've emailed him a couple of different times and exactly got no return email answers from the county head inspector kind of ticks me off that he can't even least take the time to email me back and explain what the heck he has this gentleman can do, what's the county ordinances, and whatnot. It's sort of a frustrating situation. And I may make this a separate clip of a dang thing and figure out how to attach it size to an email, but emails won't take a lot of stuff. I do not, they was even here taking pictures, and they won't even tell you what they tell this dude to do. I don't know where it's privacy laws or the, the, the codes in Gaston County don't allow for them to deal with this abandoned horse crap. Excuse me, horse shit. Let me believe more blunter. If, if YouTube don't like it, I'm sorry. If, if, if some of them high dollar people in California had to look at this in their backyard, they'd be ticked off too. So I don't understand why at least I can't get an email back from the darn people saying this is what we're doing. Because I have no idea. And it's frustrating. I know I'm not the property owner on record, but that don't make a crap. At least the man would have the common decency to take three minutes to say, go to hell, do something on email. That's one of my ran over. I hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, whatever we've done today, because usually I shoot a close and, and put together a montage at the end, so this is usually my way of saying thank you. Now, if I haven't said it enough, I will say it. Every subscriber I've got, I appreciate. Appreciate every view I get. Now, do we have the big channel? No. Do we want to have a big channel? Well, I'd be stupid saying I wouldn't be a little jealous if I didn't, but my mode of making these videos isn't to get rich. It is to have fun. So those along come along and enjoy the videos and have fun with me, I appreciate it. But please do share it with your friends if, if they're not subscribers. And, you know, Bring them over here and let us look at another, somebody else is doing this. You know, I'm a career machinist, but, and I've always liked to make things. So when I've retired, now I really have more plenty of time. Right now, you know, we've been kind of busy with some house projects and stuff, so that's slowed us up here for the last several months. But I hope you enjoy the videos, and hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, please subscribe. Please tell your friends, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so very much. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video when I make another one.